MIG welding is popular because it's so easy, as well as efficient and convenient. A MIG welder will practically pay for itself the first time you repair a door or fender or weld in a patch panel, not to mention the satisfaction of doing the work yourself and doing it right. This MIG-135 is backed by the Eastwood three-year warranty and lifetime satisfaction guarantee. So not only are you getting a great welder at an amazing price, but also the warranty you expect out of a quality welder. So let's see what makes this one of our most popular machines. It has a 25 to 135 amp welding range and can weld 24 gauge to quarter inch mild and stainless steel. Great for your project car or if you just want to learn how to weld. Plus it can also be used as a flux core welder if you don't want to deal with gas tanks, a tank runs out, or if you're using it where you don't have access to a tank. And as an added bonus, it uses Tweco consumables. So when you need to replace tips or nozzles, you can find them not only at Eastwood, but also at most locations that sell welding supplies. The MIG-135 operates on 120 volts household current with a duty cycle of 20% at 90 amps, which is plenty for that restoration or if you want to do some light metal fab. It comes with a gas regulator and hose, eight foot gun and ground cables, and a spool adapter so you can use either four inch or eight inch wire spools. It has infinitely adjustable wire speed and heat settings that allow you to perfectly tune the machine to the material you're welding. You can even attach a spool gun to this machine so you can weld aluminum. You've seen this welder in many of our videos, so you know it's a quality unit that will get the job done on that restoration, or if you want to do some general metal fab or fix stuff around the house like a mower deck or wheelbarrow. And MIG welding is easy to learn, and there are tons of videos on the internet that will teach you how to weld. Just check out our Eastwood YouTube channel. The basics are turn on the gas, which should be set at about 20 CFH when flowing. Turn on the welder, check the chart for the proper settings for the material you're welding, and adjust the heat and wire speed to match the chart. Hold the torch at a slight angle and make little cursive E's where you loop into the puddle as you push the torch. If you're doing sheet metal, remember to jump around to prevent warping. If you're doing light metal fab or welding sheet metal, this is the machine you need to do the job right. And remember, this welder will pay for itself when you install your own floor pans or patch a fender. Not to mention the satisfaction of doing it yourself. Click the link to visit eastwood.com and get more information on the Eastwood MIG-135 today.